All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look. Today is Thursday. This is gold. Thursday now. Okay, since the beginning of the week, remember we said Monday was a swing day. So if you entered on Monday, like I did as well, uh, or on the Tuesday retracement, you should have just followed this up. There was nothing to do, and I showed you on the videos as well. There was nothing to do. Once you covered your trade, you just let it go and let it do its job until it gets to the targets and then get out, okay? And yesterday, there were two places to get out. The first place was 2,422. Then I said we've got 2,425 there. And also I gave you the daily PST levels. They are all, you can see, pretty much done except this 2,461. On the daily, we've got 67, so that's still a target at 2,471, which is there. On the weekly, we've got 2,489, which is there, okay? So you can still buy if the market comes down, not a problem, but remember what I said yesterday. If we end up somewhere high on Friday, the market might flop on Friday after the news so you got to be careful okay so yeah now then I've already posted the hours in the members area there are some comments so go through them <coughs> okay so as you can see these are levels um, and 945 level might break push to 145 so as you can see, there's some room to still push. And today, I think, um, you know, what you can wait for if you want. You can wait for the lunchtime session if you want. Um, and then there's going to be a push after the news. And the market might keep pushing after the news. All right. So... Yeah, so just be mindful of those comments as well. Um, if the market comes down, then you know going up is a good option. If it goes up, then we're going to have to wait for a sell setup. Why? Because Thursday is a swing day, all right? So because Thursday is a swing day, selling the highs is not a bad option either. If we get up hours right now on the one hour chart let me just get into the one hour chart here so you can see things as you can see we've come all the way back in there this is nice okay so market coming down to go up every time if you're using the PST if you're coming into the 60 you can follow that trend up or down to the 40 or obviously according to the PST levels right so if the market comes down into your hourly chart then going back up is okay same here as well sometimes we'll go up come into the 40 go up come into the 40 go up you see it's just bouncing off the same zones this is why the 60 40 zones are like really important on the PST when I mark levels in as you can see All right so you can also draw your lines it does it automatically but if you were to draw your own lines as well then you can match it with your hours. Okay, you can say, here we are. Okay, there's the line, there's the PST, there's the hour, let's get in. Okay, so this is on the one hour. Okay, that's if you're using the PST. If you're not using the PST, just, you know, um, ensure these levels are going to be met trade when the market matches your technical analysis price okay so there's a bit of a gap here as you can see if the market dips down slightly lower which it might do then buying might be the better option okay um, obviously this zone is also okay but there are gaps down here so be careful so this is the first zone i've marked in this is the second zone and the third zone i've marked in the zones might look big they're not big because we're using hours, okay? If we're using technical hours, um, the hours to trade, then it's not a big deal. 
All right, and this is on the 15 minute chart, as you can see the market's nicely down on the 40, and they're just buying into it nicely here, okay? Uh, so if we were a bit, you know, if we were up a little earlier, then, you know, we could have got him into this around here, right down here, okay? But we'll see how things pan out, okay? Like I said, today's a swing day, so if the market goes up, there might be some selling coming in as well, okay? Um, that's that. Let's take a look at S and the Euro Dollar. Now, Euro Dollar, this is Euro Dollar yesterday. Okay, let's just do this. So we get a clean chart. Now, I'm just getting rid of everything so we get a clean chart. Here we are. Okay. And let's get our daily pivot in order this is where we're at so yesterday if you were doing your trading you should have been okay as well if i can just get in there what's this four o'clock so let's take a look now remember i said this is your four o'clock pre news setup okay market comes up it's your setup boom down okay um, and then we had 630 um, which should be around here that's your six that's your 630 market retraces okay post news level pushing into 10 past seven let's turn this into 10 past seven that's your 10 past 7 bar there, bang, going down into 8.30, that's your 8.30 there, market turns, and then targeting closing, and that's your closing there, pretty much there. Okay, so that's how it is. So sell off. What about this hour? You might say, what else did we have? We had two twenty. Two twenty was. There. So if you bought, you would have got out at two twenty. Where would you have got a nine thirty to nine forty five? Do I have a nine thirty? That's your 9.30, If you entered here, you would have gotten stopped out. Okay. That's that pre-new setup down up. Okay. So now what with the euro dollar? Looks like we're going to have a breakout, which is there. Okay. This could be a fake breakout. But this is nice to see. Remember, Monday was a swing day. Tuesday was a swing day. Euro dollar next day is coming up. So we can, on a pullback, go up, I think. Okay. So this is already done, which is unfortunate for us. Because it's right on the daily pivot at well, 5.45, 6 o'clock. Okay, so this was here okay if the market does come back down you can go up okay you can go up and i think that's how it should be because it's a pull up coming back into the order block breaking out closing above pull back so you can follow this up where to if it breaks then you still got room to go into 1.0886 we should come back up there then, shouldn't we, ideally? You need to look out for 0850, so that would be a first target there, okay? And then if it breaks, which if it gets there, it should break the PST, then you want to push up even more. <clears throat> okay, so what we want to do is any pullback into a swing hour is a fair game to go back up. US 500, let's take a look. Now remember, Monday was a swing day. 
Wednesday was a swing day. That's your Wednesday. Monday, come down. Wednesday, go up. I talked about Wednesday and I said it will get up into here because of the gaps too. Now, today, tomorrow we've got. Okay, so it's a bit of a tricky thing. If you want to let it go and just wait, I don't mind. Because we're at targets up here. 56 to 60 is there. So we've got 5,608, 5,596. So 5,586. Six oh eight. Okay, so those are still levels on the daily, right? So mark them down. Five thousand five hundred ninety-six, five thousand six oh eight. Okay, so they they can still be done. Okay, there's still some room to go up as well. It's number sixty-five there. That's a nice push up. So we should get a dump. Okay, so we should get a dump. Why? Because, let's just see. Right, this is really good, huh? So, Wednesday, great. Now, we've, we should have like a big, like a retracement back down. So we should get all the way back into at least this zone. If today's gonna be a sell, it's going to be interesting. You might want to leave the indices until Friday. This still might have room to come. You know, might still have room to go up. If this goes up first without coming down, Friday will look to sell. Okay. Until then, though, this is tricky because it's started to do the targets. If you've got a position open, you can just push your stops up. Okay. You can just bring it right under. The closing of yesterday or you know take profit and call it a day all right and that's it um, but you know or, or put your take profit wherever you need to put it wherever you like and then just like I said push your stop forward so there's not much else to do here because Thursday is a bit tricky on the SP 500 I don't mind waiting for tomorrow to sell but I don't trade Fridays so if you're doing indices just need to be careful if you want to buy on the pullback if it gives you a pullback and you want to buy I'm okay with it okay I'm okay with it but after the news it's going to be tricky because I'm expecting pushy news after the you know pu pushy moves after the news so make sure you do your setup and see how things pan out afterwards okay just make sure you're managing your trade so with the indices we should have a pullback okay um, but Friday is the better option because on Dow Jones and Nasdaq we've got Friday for a swing day okay so the market may still push up if you want to buy on the pullback to go up I'm okay with it just you know make sure you're managing your trades because like I said Thursday is a tricky day for SP 500 now this is the one hour chart that's the big mama okay that's a big push and it still has room to come up you see how it's closed the gap there you see it's just come up and just close the gaps nice and easy so tomorrow might go up a little bit more and then sell off okay because this is the bar look okay this is the bar on the one hour chart that co caused okay that caused that big push down all right so we're back up here might go slightly higher let me just check the daily again yeah we're in that zone so this is this is a sort closed up sort closed up so yeah so tomorrow might also look to go up maybe we'll do a sweep and just sell off so these targets are good to sell as well like i said that 5608 could be a level as well which is there okay 
So pushing up into the goodbye kiss of this is also okay. But selling is okay. That's a big push as well. So we should have an impulse wave and see the gaps here. So it should kind of like push back down. Okay. So these are all done. And you can see that was just good. Overall, if you're trading the swing days and the hours, you know, just take the technical analysis as it is. Monday swing day, sell off. Wednesday swing day, big buy. Thursday is a question mark. Friday is a swing day on all the indices. So now, if we're up here on the Friday, the news is your setup. Okay. Let's take a look at Dow Jones. So we should all be the same because Dow Jones had Monday and Friday, as you know. Now, with Dow Jones, I said Monday we're at the top, so selling is not a bad idea. But this might just have gone crazy, and it has. Okay, so here, if you sold, you got stopped out. Okay, unfortunately, that's how it is. Okay, this was the zone yesterday. At the end of the day, these were the price levels that Okay, um, this was, let me just see what time was that. That's 9.45. We didn't have a 9, I didn't have a 9.45 anyway. I had 8.35, which was, look, 8.35 was there on the dot. Market makes a move up. It went to the targets I spoke about yesterday as well. If you sold at a target, look, this is 12.15, we had, what, 2.20. That's your 2.20, 2.15. That's your 2.20 there. We had 2.20, 2.30, right? So that's, well, that's not a really good place to sell either because the price and time don't match, okay? So this was a bit tricky yesterday, as you can see. But it made the PST levels on both occasions, so it was good. If you bought into it, then you would have had four o'clock. This is this is four o'clock. If you sold here, you should have been okay, because that was enough to cover the trade. If you sold here on the four o'clock closing of the previous day, your stop loss should have been just above there. So that would have covered your trade for sure. But other than that, not much really happening. Okay, 10 past 7 is also in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, 10 past 7 is above that level. So, yeah, it's a bit tricky yesterday on this one. Okay. But remember, Dow Jones, I said Monday and Friday. Okay, so Monday, selling. Tuesday market sold as well. But as you can see, it looks like this is going into Friday. Monday was the low of the week, mind you. So the market made the low as the swing day. So you don't want to do anything until Friday on this one. Okay, just let it go. We're at the weekly level there as well. On the monthly, let's see if we're anywhere. We're right there as well. So this could be a month where the market turns around. Okay, why? Because it's a new month, 67, 41, 208. 41, 208. which is, oh my God, it's pretty much there. There you go, it's pretty close, huh? <laughs> 41 to 08, and that's where the market plummeted down. So Friday selling is not a bad idea. NASDAQ, now this is again, swing day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So market. Sells Monday, goes all the way into Wednesday. Wednesday market pumps. It didn't come back, it just kept pumping. Tomorrow is a swing day, see how it made the target. If you made the targets and you got out, it should have been just fine. Yesterday I did say if this comes back we should buy, but it just didn't. It just kept pushing, pushing, pushing up and not much to do. When it's going up like this, you're going to use your technical analysis tools, the ones I've taught you. As you can see, that's going to be a runner. Okay. So, swing hour on the runner. 
it's going to be what tomorrow yesterday was 220 235 220 there 235 there market making a runner breaking out with your four o'clock pre new setup and it's just going up okay um, again, Friday, we're going to have to look for a sell setup. It's fine. This was the zone. I've marked this in yesterday, so you guys should have been fine. Remember, I said I don't want to stand in front of a PST breakout. Don't want to do it. Just follow it. And if you're using your ATAM, you should be in the game. That just took you all the way into the targets, and that's fine. Okay, this is your zone. Tomorrow, we can look for a setup, sell setup here. One thing you've got to be weary about is that level and this level's gap here. Tomorrow with the news, if it makes a gap fill, don't be surprised, okay? So just be smart about it. So it could just do a boom, come back, take out the stops here, close the gap, and then sell off, and that's logical. Let's take a look at the monthly on this one. Monthly right here as well, okay? On the weekly yeah on the weekly look at that beautiful bounce on the PST right on our candle there so not much to talk about if you're following what I'm doing and what I'm recommending you should be okay let's take a look at Bitcoin Bitcoin remember I said Monday was a swing day down here we should come into here the market's nice and easy okay so no big deal um, I did give you some targets yesterday or the day before but remember I said this is now a rectangle so it should in my opinion it should break okay because we should come back into that 50 zone you know basically this is what's happening okay so that's how it is so selling from this zone, the market has done, we should get back into here. Okay, once we get back into the 50 zone again, this is fair game to buy. Okay, it's fair game to buy. You can extend this into here. All right, and that's how it is. So you could do that and then kind of like take it from there okay because this should push into this zone that's my opinion anyway obviously don't sell here right why because that's your support zone despite the fact that I think it's going to break down it has to break down okay so if you want to sell it you know maybe wait for a retracement on the smaller time frame and do it that way okay maybe you know maybe going up to the daily to sell off again is okay. No real gaps here. So a pull up into a sell is okay. This, like I said, is done. Why? Because, whoops, we're down here. Okay, so no selling here. Okay, the good buy kiss is 54, 66,402, 66,402 is up here if it does a good buy kiss here is a good level if you want to sell off again right? 402 here pushing down and that's about it 